This is so strange that it's reasonable to want to learn a little bit more about how a single photon can go through two slits at once. We can conduct another experiment. In this case, let's make an observation of the light at the point where it passes through one slit or the other to report back to us which path the light took prior to hitting the screen. Yet, when we do this, all of a sudden, the interference pattern vanishes. By making an observation earlier in the experiment, we've determined the position of the particle. And now, it behaves more like a regular particle in motion without interference effects. Things get even stranger. Imagine if our experiment was conducted over an enormously large scale, like a two-slit experiment that takes light many minutes to travel from one end of the apparatus to the other. Imagine now a photon of light is sent towards the two slits, so the experiment has started. Yet in this case, we can delay our choice of how we measure the photon. For example, if we measure the photon using a screen past the two slits, we would get an interference pattern, so the particle acted wave-like. Alternatively, if we measure the light in a way to know which slit it passed through, we produce a particle-like photon behavior with no interference. Even delaying the experimental setup until the last split second, the particle will behave as defined by the experiment to be particle-like or wave-like. There is no definitive form that the particle takes within the apparatus prior to its observation. It is truly in an indeterminate state. Only the observation or the outcome of the experiment results in a record in our macroscopic physical world which makes the phenomenon real. There is no phenomenon until it is observed.